So today I'll show you how to prevent your M.2 2230 SSD from overheating and thermal throttling. I have a similar video for 2280 SSDs, the link will be at the end of this video. This is the smallest M.2 SSD form factor found not only in affordable laptops, but also in Xbox consoles and some flagship laptops with an adapter like this, and these SSDs have even worse overheating issues than the 2280 ones. The controller overheats within 10 to 20 seconds under load, resulting in a significant performance drop, which is quite noticeable because these SSDs don't deliver high performance to begin with, but we can definitely improve cooling to make the drive perform better. So why do the controllers on these SSDs overheat? I would say there are two main reasons. Firstly, the controller chip is thinner than the memory chip, and it doesn't even make contact with the thermal pad. That's what happens under the heatsink. You can see there's a gap between the thermal pad and the chip. The exact same problem is present in some 2280 SSDs, but it can be easily solved. The second reason is that this tiny chip generates a lot of heat, and it's hard to quickly transfer all that heat from such a small surface. For example, this controller has a much larger surface area, so it transfers significantly more heat at the same time than this one. But there's not much we can do about it. You can only help transfer that heat faster by using high-performance thermal pads or thermal putty. So let's focus on leveling that uneven surface. As you can see, there's about 0.5mm difference between the surface of the NAND and the controller chips. If I apply a 0.5mm thermal pad on the memory chip, the difference becomes about 1mm. So what we need to do is apply 1mm thick thermal pad to the chip. I recommend using Grizzly thermal pads. Now, as you can see, the surface under this improvised heatsink is totally flat and there's no gap anymore. Instead of thermal pads, you can apply thermal putty. I recommend using Apsiren, the link down below. Simply apply it on your drive and spread it evenly above all chips. When you press it with the heatsink, the thermal putty will be equally spread above all components, providing perfect heat transfer to the heatsink. Now let's perform a simple test and see if it made any difference. For this test, I'm gonna use this little M.2 to USB enclosure. Let's start with these two separate pads. I'll simply copy this 20 gig file to the drive. As you can see, the writing speed is nice and stable. Now let's repeat the same test, but using only one thermal pad across the entire SSD surface. Same file. And as you can see, the thermal throttling started in the middle of the process, and the speed noticeably dropped. So using two pads or a thermal putty definitely improves the situation, and the cooling system can manage those spikes of heavy load for a longer time, providing higher performance and extending longevity on the drive. Thank you for watching.